Good morning, everyone. It is a bright and sunny, beautiful Monday morning. It was a little chilly this morning. I have to admit, I was a little surprised at how chilly it was outside when I went out. But I was up bright and early with the sun this morning and caught a little glimpse of the sunrise. And it was so pretty. And then the sun came out and the skies are clear blue. It's just beautiful. Day. Beautiful, beautiful way to start the week. Um, it's actually so bright in here. I feel like I should be wearing my sunglasses. They're like, I feel like I'm squinting a lot, but it's so bright in here. Um, so let's see, what is happening today? Today is Monday. The kids, thank goodness, are back in school. Last week, oh, they went to school a total of one and a half days last week with a snowstorm and then end of the quarter. They had a half day on Thursday, no school on Friday. So this week, Lord willing, everyone will go to school every single day, all day long, and I will maybe have a productive week ahead of me. I don't know. We shall see. And so now that everyone's back at school, I have been having a very productive morning, actually. I have been filming a video for tomorrow, which I'll be sharing my living room and dining room um, winter decor, I guess you would call it, with a black and white theme. I'm so excited. Finally got it done. It's taken me forever to get it done. But I was not even going to try to attempt to um, get it completely ready and filmed and pictures taken while the people, while my people were home because that is just, <laughs> this is, would not have worked very well. So I kind of had to wait till today to do it, which I should have done it last week, but I was just, last week was just a toss, it was not, nothing was getting done last week. Um, but today is a pretty low-key day. We have nothing on the books other than I think my girls are staying after school a little late today so I don't have to pick them up till 4.30, which is two hours later. So they're hanging out with friends at school after school. So I have that. And then later tonight, Wisconsin Badgers have a basketball game. So most likely we'll be going over to my sister's house to watch that game because we only have one more month left of college basketball and then we go into March Madness and then basketball is sadly over. So I feel like I haven't watched hardly any basketball games, but I've probably watched, I don't know how many they've had, but I've probably, I've watched a, a good amount of them, but I feel like I haven't had enough time in the basketball department. So I'll be watching that with her tonight. We have three games actually this week to watch together. So I'm not sure if we'll get all of them watched together, but at least tonight will be, will be happening. So, um, let's see what other updates. Oh, last week, at the very end of the week, I find out, found out if you remember that I have a kidney stone. So this morning I got a call from the urology department and we have gone ahead and scheduled an appointment for me for next Monday, which is February 5th or something like that. I'm not really sure. But anyways, so it's next week. So it's a week away. I'll have my first appointment with them to figure out how we are going to address said kidney stone. So I just have to make it through this week. I am hoping that the pain level is not going to be too difficult. I'm not sure. It seems to be getting a little better, but we shall see. We shall see. Um, but the worst part about it is, it's like I'm like eating like a horse. Like I cannot, I'm eating like every two hours and, and like having to stuff myself. Otherwise my side really, really hurts. It makes no sense. I have no idea if it's like related or not, but it's like, I am running out of food in my house to eat and I'm so sick of the food that I have in my house. <laughs> It's just craziness. But anyways, so that's happening. So I basically just have to wait another week. And hopefully they can tell me what we're going to do right away. And maybe do something about it right away. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I think it's just going to be a first consult sort of thing. And then from there we go on to do other things. I'm not really sure. So anyways, so that is happening. And then another. I feel like I'm chatting a lot today. But a lot of things has been happening in the last few days. Um, yesterday, so yesterday we sort of had a fun and exciting thing happen. I'm not sure if it's all going to pan out, but basically we are very seriously thinking about adopting another dog. I know we're crazy probably, and it's another puppy. <laughs> um, but the company that we adopted Finn through is named Secondhand Hounds, and we've kind of been kept in 
contact with Finn's foster parents through this company um, via Instagram because I gave him my Instagram account because they said they wanted to see pictures of him as he was growing up because I would assume it's very hard to give up a foster dog after you've had him for you know a month or so and you've connected with them so I was more than willing to share my Instagram account with them and I've been posting pictures of Finn and stuff like that and we've chatted back and forth and whatever but um yesterday I posted a picture and she she had she had contacted me to wish me a belated um, one month with Finn and then we got to talking and she was saying that she is, currently has a foster dog that has almost the same coloring as Finn and a lot of the same mannerisms as Finn and we were just like oh man <laughs> so we're like you know we were thinking about getting him getting another dog we were just gonna kind of wait more towards the summertime um, because we are going on a trip in um, in middle of June and so we were gonna maybe start looking for another dog after that trip but we got talking back and forth and then I went on to the website of secondhand hounds and looked at the picture and was like oh my goodness so adorable he is also she I should say is also a chihuahua um, terrier mix Finn has a little bit of Boston Terrier in him also but this other dog has more of the terrier look to him but the same exact coloring they could like be brothers they could be sisters it was just amazing so needless to say <laughs> we have set up a greet with this other dog for tomorrow night so that is very exciting for us it's all kind of happening like boom 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 and I kind of am a it's a been a it's been a bit of a whirlwind from yesterday afternoon when this whole conversation started and then it was like boom 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 and they're like do you want to see the dog do you want to meet the dog and we're like yes we do <laughs> so anyways yeah there was a there's a lot of that going on so we are of course smitten with the dog just through the pictures and I can't imagine it would change when we see the dog so hopefully fingers crossed we may have another puppy by the end of the week so I don't know we'll see how it all turns out so we're crossing our fingers because she looks like a little sweetheart and Finn would really love to have someone to play with I think because you know the family we're, we're busy even though I'm home all the time with him there's a lot of times he wants to play and I just can't stop to play with him but you know it is the middle of the winter also and I haven't been able to get him out on walks because he does not like the cold. <laughs> he goes out for about one to two minutes tops on a nice winter's day. So as the war weather warms up, I'm sure that we'll burn off a whole lot more energy for him um, with just daily activities. But for now, in the middle of the winter, he is definitely an inside dog. So anyways, so that is the update. That is what has been happening yesterday and today. I feel like a lot has happened in the last, just the last day and a half. Um, so yeah, so the rest of the day it is already lunchtime and I am starving once again um, So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of work here real quick and then get some lunch made for myself and Yeah, I Think that's what I'm gonna do and then I probably won't be back to talk to you until later this afternoon when maybe it's time to pick up the girls or whatever so I will check in with you later. Bye. I just arrived at my sister's house 
and we are going to watch the basketball game together. So I'm crossing my fingers that I don't fall asleep. Because on the drive over here, which was only like three minutes long, I am starting to feel very tired. So we shall see how it goes. And yeah, it should be a good game. I can't wait. Bye. <laughs>Day morning and I am in the truck getting it warmed up it is so cold right now I haven't used the truck in a few days it's probably been four or five days since I've used the truck and it's only eight degrees out right now it's a chilly chilly morning so I'll be here a while getting it warmed up but I just thought I would check in and tell you about the day that we're going to have the girls are off to school already JJ's working um, let's see what else is going on Zoe has volleyball tonight. And the most exciting thing that is happening today is that the little puppy that we are considering adopting is coming over to this evening at 6.30. So we are very excited about that. We are hoping that he will get, a, she, I'm sorry, she will get along with Finn very, very well. And Finn will be nice to her. And they look so cute. They both have the same coloring. The new dog has got a little bit less um, white on, on her but the colorings are the same, so they almost be matchy-matchy dogs. So, that would be kind of fun. But anyways, so we're going to meet with him, her, I can't get them right, tonight. And then if the um, foster parents like us enough and say, yes, you can have the dog, then we will most likely be picking the dog up come Saturday. So that's the exciting things that are happening today. Um, so I am headed out once the car warms up here to go do a little thrift store shopping. I figured I would get out right away, bright and early this morning, and get that done before I started on anything else. Um, I was a little late yesterday um, hanging clothes. So some of the stuff is still not quite dry, so they'll probably be done about midday. So I'm going to be kind of behind all week long in that department. But that's okay. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to go do a little thrift shopping. Let's see if I can find a few things to share with people on Thrift Store Thursday. If not, it'll just be a very slim pickings this week because I only have found two things so far this week to share. So hopefully we'll find a few things. So I will check in with you later. Bye. my sunglasses because when I left the house it was sunny <coughs> it's not sunny no more it is cold or I swear yeah my car says now it's six degrees I left and it was eight degrees that is not fun anyways I did find some wonderful things at the thrift store 
So I'm very excited about that. So very, very excited. So I think my goal was this. If I bought something at this store that I wouldn't have to go, that I wouldn't go to the next store. But it's only 10 o'clock. So if I hurry, I could get home by 11 o'clock and go to one, possibly two more thrift stores. So I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't know how next week it's going to all shape up. Um, with a doctor's appointment on Monday, I'm not sure if it's something they're going to do right away. I just don't know what's happening next week. So I kind of want to go a little more this week. So I think I'm going to do it. So let's head to the next place. All right, so I'm headed to store number two. This one is called Sabres. I don't come to this one very often, but sometimes I do. So we shall see if they have anything fun. Oh, what a day. Today has been really long. I am looking a wreck. I am so ready for bed. It is about 9.30. Um, the little puppy came over to meet us, and oh my goodness, so adorable. So adorable. We are, I'm, I'm smitten. I, I want that dog so bad. So it kind of sounds like we will probably get the dog um, with the possibility of picking it up um, this weekend if we can get all the contracts signed and the money paid to them on top within the, you know, the rest of the week, which shouldn't really be a big problem because it really only takes like, you know, a little bit so yeah it sounds like we're adopting another dog and it was so hilarious because they're like well you know we've got another dog that we have right now too we're like oh no we're like i think this is gonna be enough because seriously this will mean we have adopted a dog once a month the last two months which is crazy we have never been a two dog family we always have been a one dog family but because the dogs that we've had have never been have never been like one they needed to be the, single, the only dog in the house because they don't get along with other dogs because they're very aggressive but these two Finn was hilarious when they first got here um Finn started barking and thought we were being you know under attack which she rare he rarely rarely ever barks um and then of course he barked for a little bit because we were all sitting in the living room waiting for them to come, you know. They were a little late getting here, but it, that was not a big deal. But we were all ready for them, you know. And so we're all in the living room. So it was kind of funny to see that Finn had that little um, territorial bark. Because rarely, she very rarely barks. But then, of course, when they started coming up the steps, she went under the couch. <laughs> and then she kind of like bark and growl from underneath there. But then she saw the other dog, and then she you know, came out a little bit, and then she realized that she actually knew the people, and oh my goodness, was she excited to see them. So they had her as a foster dog for about a month. Um, yeah, for about a month before um, we adopted Finn, so it was really cool for them, I think, to um, kind of check in with Finn and stuff like that, and boy, did Finn and Rami get together they had so much fun. They were playing and just having a good old time. So I think this will be good for both of them. But it was hilarious because um, Finn has maybe about an inch on her. And so she is going to be much bigger than him. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Um, so yeah. So we were really excited to see that they um, were getting along. That was the major thing. And then yeah, but I think um, this new dog is going to be a little bit more of a handful. Yes, she's timid, but she is, oh, just from what we've seen here at the house, they were there for about an hour and a half. She's a much more curious and get, got over her fear a lot quicker than Finn did. So we'll see once we bring her home. I think it'll go much more smoothly now that Finn is here. But anyways... Yeah, so that was the exciting news for the night. And then they left. They were here for about an hour and a half. And then we ordered pizza for dinner. We were totally naughty. And then, yeah, so now here we are. And I need to go to bed very, very badly. So I will stop chatting your ear off, and I will talk to you later. Bye. All right, good morning. It is bright and early Wednesday morning. Zoe just walked out the door for school. And I have about a half hour before I have to wake up. 
the other two for school, and it seems like it has snowed overnight. We got a little bit of dusting of snow up there. So I'm gonna wait a couple minutes. It's still not even light out yet. I'm gonna wait till it gets light out, and then I'm gonna go out and do a little bit of shoveling. I still need to do something about my hair. I haven't done my makeup or anything yet today, but I think I'm gonna wait till later. So I want to do that right before I'm going to do some filming today. So I'm going to wait till later today. So we have nothing on the books for today. That should be a very nice day. I'm hoping to be very productive. But at the same time, take it very easy, if that makes any sense at all. I'd like to get some stuff done. Um, mostly video making, but also a couple projects I'd like to at least work on a little bit today. Since I really don't have anything else I have to do today. So yeah. And I don't think I'll be getting a call from my sister to go out and go do anything because I know today she's got doctor's appointments and stuff like that for her kids. So I should have the whole day to myself. I should have the house to myself except for Mr. Finn will be here because JJ most likely will be going to work also. So that will be kind of nice. That will be something new. I haven't don't. He's been going to work a lot more lately, but I have been out of the house during the day a lot lately. So it's just been weird. But it should be a good day, and I will check in with you later. Hello, little baby. You go for a ride in the car? Yeah. You're a little scared? Doing a good job. Yes, you are. All right, so <laughs> the kids are successfully all at school. I finally have some makeup on, and my hair is done for the day. I should put it up in a bun today because I don't want to deal with it today. It needs to be washed, and I didn't want to do that right away this morning. So, so I like to get my showers at night and let my hair just air dry. So let's see. I am ready to do some filming, and yeah, then after that I'm going to have to go out and do some shoveling. We got probably maybe an inch, inch and a half, two inches of snow last night, but thankfully it is just light fluffy stuff, and it's so gorgeous out right now. It's so sunny and beautiful, so shoveling won't be a chore today. I will probably enjoy it, so looking forward to that kind of, not really, but it needs to be done, so... So, I will check in with you later. Well, this day is flying by and I'm not getting as much done as I had hoped I would, but that's all right. Um, it is time now to pick up kids from the school. So, I just stopped off at the gas station, got some more gas in my truck, and now I'm heading off to get them. everyone it is Thursday morning and the very first day of February so happy February everyone I am excited because today is a very sunny day and it's gorgeous outside even though it's sort of kind of cold today most of the day I am gonna have just the house to myself try to get as much done as possible because yesterday I did not get anything done um, I was editing a video that turned into a monster again and it just I kept running out of battery and then I was trying to use two different cameras and they were both like not working. The batteries were both dead so I'd charge one for a little bit and charge the other for a little bit. It was just a nightmare. It took forever. So basically yesterday was a toss up. I didn't get anything done. So today I'd really like to get some stuff done. Although the day gets busy once the kids get home. Um, so I have volleyball tonight. Um, my husband <laughs> my husband's Last night got gypped out of his roast because I was so behind schedule. We ended up having tacos instead. He's been waiting all week for Wednesday night roast night. So we're going to have roast tonight. So I have that to do. So that's a little bit more involved. I know a roast doesn't sound much, but I like to make like homemade mashed potatoes and that sort of stuff. So that takes a little bit longer. And then there is also a basketball game tonight. And yeah, I'm excited about that. Another thing that my sister like texted me yesterday and she's like, do you know that it's almost a time for the Olympics to start? I'm like, yeah, they start in February, but don't they start towards the end of February? She's like, no, they start next week. So I think they start on the 8th. I want to say the 8th, which is like next Thursday, right? Let me see. 
Yeah. Ugh. So I think they start on the 8th. I am so excited. How? Oh man. You know me. I like my sports. So I love watching sports. And then the Olympics is like the best. I just, I get sucked in and I watch a lot of sports <laughs> for those two weeks. It's like I have the TV on constantly and I am watching it constantly and I just get sucked right in. It's just terrible, but I love it so much. So I'm excited for the Olympics to start. Let me know if you are too or if I'm just a weirdo and get totally sucked in. But I do normally, I'm very productive because I normally have like a whole bunch of like little projects that I can work on while I'm watching. So I need to round up some projects to do this week. <laughs> so get myself set up for Olympic time. So yeah. So there's a basketball game I need to watch tonight. Well, not need to, but I want to watch tonight. The Badgers are playing again. I don't know who they're playing against, but the bad thing is that I probably won't be able to watch it with my sister today because of Zoe's volleyball tonight. Unless I can get my husband to pick her up and drop her off. I shall see about that. I'll have to ask him. I never even thought about that, duh. Because I'm always the one that drops her off and picks her up. I always forget that it's an option for him to do it too. <laughs> yeah. All right, so maybe I will watch it with my sister. But anyways, so the game starts right when she's supposed to be going. It's supposed to be at volleyball. So we can make that work, I think. I have to ask my husband. I will tempt him with tasty roasted meat first, and then I will ask him. <laughs> that's my sneaky plan. So anyways, I guess that's it. I need to get some stuff done this morning, and then, yeah, so I will... Check in with you later. Bye. Hi everyone. This day kind of went fast for me. And I got some work done this morning and then I decided to take the rest of the day as a lazy day because I felt like I was in really in need of a nap today. I was feeling a little run down and like I got these like sniffles coming back again. So I don't know what's going on with that. I'm like, please no, let's not do this again. So I went and took myself a nap, had myself a big huge glass of orange juice <laughs> and um, yeah it felt good so I just woke up from my nap now it is almost six o'clock and I'm just starting dinner we're having a sirloin roast tonight which I haven't done in a really long time last week I did like a round roast and that turned out really well so I'm hoping that the sirloin roast will turn out just as well but I'm not sure we shall see we shall see so, um, Zoe's got volleyball coming up here real soon. I need to go figure out where she is. She's probably taking a nap. So I need to get her some dinner before she goes because the roast will not be done before that. Um, she probably went to eat it anyways. She's not, she's not a beef girl, like a steak or a roast kind of girl. Only really much eats like ground beef like hamburger and meatloaf is basically all she eats when it comes to beef. So, um, yeah. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make for her for dinner. I have really no clue. Maybe she'll want a hamburger that's quick and easy. All right, so this is what's for dinner tonight. It is a sirloin tip roast. I haven't made one of these in a really long time, so I looked it up, and it tells me to start cooking it. It tells me to cook it for 15 minutes at 450 degrees. Then bump it down to 325, and then cook it for three hours and that should give me a medium wear. I'm not sure about the three hours because with the other roast that I did I cooked it for 20 minutes per pound and that gave me a nice medium rare. So I'm going to check it in an hour. I'm going to put it in for the 15 minutes at 450, bump it down, then I'm going to check it in an hour and see what happens. And I have myself a fancy smancy new sleep thermometer which is right here. I've never had a meat thermometer before. So I'm pretty excited to use this. So that should come in handy. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and then we shall check on it in an hour. There's the roast, it looks yummy. flown by once again um the girls came home from school I don't know what happened after that 
And now it's starting to 9 o'clock, and I am over at my sister's house. We are going to watch the basketball game that we didn't watch last night tonight. So, that's what we're going to do. I, I don't know. My sister and I did go to Target earlier today and a couple other little sh um, shopping stores. So, I took out most of the morning. Got home about 1 o'clock from there. So, it's just been a busy, busy day. One of those busy days that you really don't accomplish anything, but you've been busy all day long. So, yeah, that was today. <laughs> so, we're going to watch this game, and then I'm going to go home, and I'm going to go to bed. So, talk to you later. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning, and as you can tell, there's a bit of snow happening. But my, um, my, my daughter Emily and I are on our way home from picking up our brand new puppy. <laughs> so excited. Here's Emily. Aww. And there's a the puppy. She's a little shy right now. Her name is Rama. Rama. Uh, Rama. I'm sorry. I call her Rama. Rama. And um, yeah, we are about an hour and a half away from home at this point because the snow is coming down pretty good right now. It was snowing lightly when we came up. Like you could barely see the snowflakes. And now the snowflakes are coming down quite well. So we're going to be in for a little treat. We are probably, it took us an hour to get here. Yeah, so it's probably going to be an hour, hour and a half to get home. But anyways, and then this so morning also Zoe got dropped off at Skateville for some roller skating and a birthday party. And then they're going to a, um, a sleepover after that. So I will not see Zoe until tomorrow when I pick her up at noon. And then the rest of the family, we're just all going to hang out. JJ's got some people coming over tonight to do some gaming. And I'm going to work on projects today. And just kind of let the dog get used to us. So we're very excited about the topic. Calling you very much on the road. Or it's just we're coming along quick enough. This to is going to be a kind of shaky video. That's right. Good morning. It is a Sunday morning and it's also Super Bowl Sunday. Yay! So today should be exciting. I have a few projects I want to get working on. I need to go pick up Zoe at noonish. She's had a sleepover last night. So I gotta go pick her up. And then later this afternoon I have a basketball game to watch with my sister. And then a, of course, the Super Bowl. I'm gonna go over and watch that with my sister also. So it should be a fun day. I'm just going to kind of keep it a little relaxed today and just try to rest today because yesterday I started to feel kind of gross. Like I took a nap and then I woke up and I had the chills like for a long time. I'm like, no, please don't let it be the flu. But it did go away. So I was very, very thankful that that was not turning into the flu. So today I'm just taking it real easy and just doing a few little fun little projects and stuff like that so nothing no cleaning nothing like that today well I guess I clean the kitchen but that's just an everyday thing that has to get done every day other than that I'm not doing anything else <laughs> the rest of the day is just a carefree lazy day so you need every one of those every now and then for sure and yesterday there wasn't much relaxation with going to get a new dog and coming home in the snow so it took us uh, I, we were, it was probably about five hours worth of driving yesterday, getting there and getting back. On the way back, it took us much longer to get home. So obviously, the snow was thicker, and we had to move slower, and it was less visibility. We were out in the boonies. So yeah, it took a long time to get home. Probably, well, not a long time, but at least a good half hour longer than it took to get there, which was two hours to get there. So anyways. All right, so I'm out trying to pick up my daughter and Jet and Zoe from a sleepover and the directions to her house were not at all <laughs> right. First I went to the wrong house. And now I'm at the net right house, I believe. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, delightful. 
So I'm gonna get her picked up, then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do a little Valentine's Day decorating in my cubbies in my kitchen. Maybe spread a little bit more out other places. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do at this point. I'm gonna dig into my Valentine's box and see what I have. But I'm really not gonna do very much, just a little bit. Um, yeah. And then later today, I'll be going over to my sister's because we have a basketball game to watch. And then after we get done watching the basketball game, we will watch the Super Bowl. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Although the Super Bowl will probably be boring. I'll probably take a nap through it, but oh well. <laughs> so I will talk with you later. Bye. Come here, Rama. So we're back. I'm back from Carrie's house uh, from watching the Super Bowl. And then I get home and it is 11 o'clock and everyone's still awake and they're like, we have nothing to eat. <laughs> you so, didn't have bread. We, yeah. So then I'm like, okay, well, let's see if we can figure it out. And yeah, we basically have nothing to eat. We have meatballs, <laughs> frozen sausage patties, and soup. <laughs> That's what we have. And we have mustard and noodles. <laughs> That's always there. But so we decided to do a almost midnight taco run. Emily's here. And Zoe's in the back seat. You always you have a terrible angle. Stop this! She wants to be on Vogue, okay? Give her the good angle. So anyways, yes. That is what we're doing right now. And we had a very stressful time ordering. <laughs> So I have no idea what we're going to end up with, but oh, it's our turn, so bye! <laughs>